What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Luna over here. So for today's video, I want to do a special Q&A because we just hit a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. Ooh, I'm really excited and the past few week the past one week. I've had my birthday the Eagle won Super Bowl um, so it's just been really crazy and Here I've gathered five questions and I want to an answer for you guys These are the questions that I usually get in my DM and you know people email me So here we go Q&A uh, question number one, people ask me, Luna, so what is your background? Where are you from? And I am 100% Chinese. I was born and raised in Sh Shanghai. I came here for high school. I went to Penn State. I got an economic degree in Penn State. So, okay. The second question that people ask me is, why do I choose to do real estate and... Um, how did I get into it? So basically, I've always had a passion about doing real estate even when I was a little girl um, I've witnessed how people can make a lot of money during real estate transaction the appreciation like the natural appreciation of a house so that's always in the back of my mind and you know, being a real estate agent, you are being your own boss, you know, you're being an entrepreneur and you have your own flexible schedule so I really like that about you know, being a real estate agent. So that's why I choose to become a real estate agent. And I said real estate agent twice. And the third question that I always get is, who's been supporting me and who's been paying my bills? And I understand for a lot of people when you first get into real estate, it's very tough for the first year because there are dropout rate is like 84%. Most people, it's very hard to like survive. I mean. Well, in my situation, I mean, the person that's been supporting me is my husband, and yes, I am married. We got married in senior year, so he's been my big motivation and supporter, you know, for my career. And um, things are going really well. Like, I've closed, I didn't close, but like, I put two uh, properties under contract. The person, uh, like, I actually just found out yesterday. So things are going really well. Moving along, so the fourth question I always get, actually, the fourth question that I get um, is, why do I choose to switch from being a rental agent to a full-time sales agent? I actually got this question in an email from someone named Steve. He's actually a real estate agent in Philadelphia. Shout out to Steve. He just passed his real estate exam last week. Um, he wanted to know my thoughts on being a rental agent versus a full-time agent. So the reason being for me to make that switch is my goal about real estate investing is always to be a real estate investor. Doing real estate, uh, doing rentals are really good for creating a database for somebody who wants to be a successful salesperson. But to my situation, I just kind of want to learn everything. You know, I wanted to be a real estate investor one day. So overall, I think being an agent works the better for me. Um, I mean, I still recommend new agent to start out as a rental agent because there are just like a lot of, you know, advantage and benefits. Okay, so the last question I get is, how do I promote myself with all my social media platform? Um, I was actually struggling at the very beginning because on my Instagram, I have, you know, like bikini photos or I have fitness photos. So those pictures sometimes seems a little unprofessional to, you know, clients or your clients who are very conservative. And I get emails and DMs from girls who are just like me, you know, who used to be a model and then they want to transition into being a real estate agent. They're like, what do I do? Do I create another account for real estate? Um, here's my solution to this. So I have three major social media platform, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook business page. And how I monetize and manage those you know, social media is for my Instagram, I post fitness related and real estate related. I make sure people know that, you know, I uploaded properties like once a day. I make sure that they know I'm a realtor because that's my 
job and that's my career but I also sometimes I'll post like you know fitness tips so just to keep people are interested to my lifestyle as well but on my Facebook business page it's strictly about real estate so I'll post listing I'll post tips for first time home buyer tips for real estate investor I'll post my thoughts on your constructions and then also on my YouTube so my YouTube are focused on two different content and two different uh, target people so like I'm targeting you know new agents I'm giving tips to new agents like stuff like what you're watching right now and I'm also going to bring more content to first time home buyer and first time investor so that's kind of how I manage all my social media account and you know if somebody who comes very conservative I'll be like hey you can look me up on YouTube you can look me up on Facebook but if somebody who's just like me they're like my age and I'm like okay well you can check me out on IG so that's basically how I deal with all my social media platform and that's it everybody I hope you guys enjoy my Q&A if you do like this type of video please give a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel because that will really help my channel to grow and until next time thank you so much I love you guys I'll see you guys next time bye